In this video, I will show you how to draw clear professional construction details. Whether you're an architect, a student, or a designer, this video will show you how you can visualize your products in details and also assembly. So today, for this tutorial, I will be using Rayon the Design, which is fast, easy, and accessible since it's all fully web-based. Now, for us here, we are going to get started by using something called the rectangle tool. And we are going to draw a foundation detail. Now, as you can see, once I click, we can add the width and also the height. And as you can see, we have centimeters as our units right now. So the width of this will be 75 and the height of this will leave it at 40. We're going to click and then the width, we're going to click enter once again. And this would be uh, the start of our foundation. As you can see, we already have some fills etc but we'll take care of all of that later on i'll show you exactly how we can stylize it and this is how easily it is to just get started on a drawing detail now on top of this we're going to go ahead and add our foundational uh, block work so this would be a block and we'll keep it at the center of our existing block here so as you can see it's pretty easy we just use rectangles or we can either use pole lines to just go through with all of this now uh, as we multiply this we can easily do it by uh, clicking it holding the alt key and then holding the left click on the mouse and then just moving it upward and this will allow us to duplicate it pretty easily and we'll leave it on top and then here at modify we can basically move it upwards or downwards for example we can move it upwards by one centimeter so we'll just take this off from two we'll leave it at three so now we can basically go ahead and uh, copy all of them and then just continue uh, through the same process so once you've drawn all of the shapes like i've done right here now it's time for us to go ahead and stylize this whole detail so in order to do that we're going to go ahead and use hashes which is pretty simple so if i click inside this rectangle i can go ahead and click on fill and now obviously we can either leave it as a solid fill which is not what we need here. We could also add in like a more realistic texture, which is also what we do not need here. Uh, but what we need here is to go to hatches, which is more technical and more detailed, especially for our drawing here. So we're gonna go and we are going to scroll downwards and try to find something that matches exactly what we have here. So for example, we can select this one and then what we can do is we can go ahead and transform it. We can make it smaller. So we can do like 0.2. Um, and uh, we could also like change the show color so we can make it a bit softer that way it is not super harsh and then we can do the same thing for the blocks here we can go at hatches uh, we can go to patterns we can scroll downwards and use like an oblique grit and then we can go to transform let's make this a lot smaller like uh, 0.15 uh, and then basically we can do for all of these all along so after you've done this you can easily go ahead and add annotations so we can use the leader icon here we can click once and then basically we can go ahead and type reinforced concrete footing and that's basically how we can add an annotation obviously we can go ahead and even edit this uh, further so for example uh, we can go and make the text a bit more on a um, lighter gray for something like this. We could also increase the size of the arrow. Let's go for eight. Um, or we can also change um, the arrow to a circle or anything like that, uh, depending on what we need. And then as we are here at the annotations, we can also go ahead and add, for example, uh, some dimensions. So I can go at dimensions and then I can also add a chain dimension, which is a lot easier. Uh, and it allows us to basically um, not, not do all of dimensions one by one. So now that we have the dimensions here, I'm going to uh, make them a lot smaller in size. So let's make this 10 centimeters. And then this is how we would basically be able to add um, dimensions as well. Now, the other thing that we can do is we can also apply styles to certain fills. And what this does is that it basically creates a sort of template or a sort of uh, appearance, which you can easily edit amongst all uh, instances or similar objects. So for example, we can add this as a style and we can name this uh, blocks let's say, and then uh, if I go here, I can uh, replace this with a block style and I can replace this with a block style, right? So all of these have the block style. Now, if I go ahead and edit the block style in either one of these, so for example, let's change the hatch to uh, a diamond hatch. You can see how it changes at every single one of them and it is super useful and easy 
to basically go ahead and um, change and make changes with just one click instead of doing them all one by one. Now, as you're drawing, I just want to show you some tools which are uh, pretty useful here. So if you choose the rectangular tool, you can click once on it and then use the offset tool to basically offset uh, that same shape um, outwards. Or also, if you want to use something which is the trim tool, so we can draw one line here and then another line right here. We can go at trim, we can click once, and then these two, we can use elements to trim and then basically choose either one of these segments to trim out, which is super easy, super useful, especially for details drawings where you have so many lines and uh, surfaces that you need to edit. And basically, if you go here and open, um, this panel, you can see that there are a bunch of other tools that are super useful to faster your workflow and make your life a lot easier as you're drawing. Now, since we are done with the drawing here, I just want to remind you that usually detailed drawings like this uh, are drawn in a one-to-one -one stroke scale. Now that we are done with the drawing, we can go here at uh, Rayon's Paper Canvas. And we are going to go ahead and add a paper and a view which we can place right here. So for example, let's go ahead and add a page. We can click uh, once and another time right here. We are going to go ahead and make the format for something like an A1. Now, since construction drawings are usually at the end of a construction presentation, uh, they are usually in a one to five or one by uh, 10 ratio. And I'm gonna show you how we can add it on that scale right in this page. So we're gonna go back to the construction detail uh, canvas right here. We're gonna go and add a view for something like this. And then inside the view, we're gonna leave the scale at uh, one by five first. We're gonna test this out. We're gonna to go to paper canvas. And now we're gonna click this plus icon. We're gonna to go to view. And basically we're gonna import from the construction details view. And this is uh, basically the construction detail, but in a one uh, to 3.5 um, ratio, we're gonna make it at one by five. And then we can also uh, put it right here at the center, for example. And then what we can also do is if you go here at blocks, we can go ahead and also add like a title block. There are a bunch of them ready to use that Rayon offers. So uh, we could probably just, we could also just take this and place it right here and then also increase it in size to something like this. Uh, then the view here, we can move it just a little bit upwards. So as you can see with Rayon, we can also create very, very beautiful floor plans, very aesthetically pleasing and clear drawings. Uh, I can show you how we can do that in just a second. So for example, if you go right here, we basically have the wall tool as uh, you can see here, we can draw the walls, we could also select all of them and then uh, go ahead and make a different fill just like we did with the rectangles. We can also uh, basically optimize anything and it is super fast and easy to use. But the cool part is that if you see in this floor plan, there are uh, some furniture and other assets. Now you do not have to draw them all by one. It is not the same process as drawing the detail that I show you. Instead, you can go to blocks and then you can just go ahead here and type, for example, sofa. And in the libraries, you will see a bunch of them. Like Lorayon has over 10,000 uh, blocks in the library, which is absolutely insane. There's just so much variety. So you can uh, basically go ahead and drag and drop it right here. This would be one of them. Now, the cool part about these is that all of them have a top view, which is for a floor plan. They have a side view as well for like elevations. And then also they have a front view for elevations, sections or anything like that, which I think is super useful and it just makes your workflow a lot easier. Now, if we go over here, at the paper canvas where we have all of the pages that I showed you earlier. Uh, if you go here at share and then presentation, we can pretty easily just click this button and now you can share it as a brochure or as a catalog with anyone who you want. So if you go here at presentation, uh, in just a second, you will see, you'll see that this will load. And now anyone with this link will be able to go through this just like any catalog just like any sort of brochure. And it's so easy to collaborate, get comments and share your projects with others, as well as if you want to go ahead and export it as a PDF, you can very easily go here at pages and then export all either as a PDF or as a PNG which makes your life a lot easier as well. Now, these are the drawings that you can create with Rayon, and these are the construction details that we went through today. I highly suggest you to go ahead and try out Rayon for yourself. You can sign up for absolutely free in the first link below, or you can check out and explore the template 
all of the projects that I'm using in this video by clicking the first link below. And if you want to learn more about the software and see another video where I go through a Rayon design tutorial, make sure you go and watch the video right here.